Hey, hey, welcome back to the Dean's Around Oz. I'm Dino. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below, click that notification bell so you get the latest updates. Thought I'd do a video, finally found my GoPro after coming off the farm, having everything packed up. We've finally got some stuff out, cleaned up, and uh, got some stuff together. So I uh, just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on the truck. So today, went over to Greg's place. Thank you, Greg. Got my winch fitted again. So. Don't know if you guys heard, but uh, when we are on the farm, went to use the winch and the gearbox went. So rang up the company, Carbon Winch. They said, no worries, mate, just uh, send it back and we'll do it under warranty. So they gave me a uh, new gearbox in this winch. So I just got that fitted today. So I'll have to take that out tomorrow or the next day and uh, test that, make sure it's working uh, properly, put some load on it, see how it goes. Uh, right now, I'm just fitting some spotties. So we found that we don't want to drive in the dark, but we always found that we end up do driving a bit in the dark. So BCF, uh, XTMs, 130 bucks with the club discount. So sign up to that, get yourself a BCF card and uh, go and get some specials. These are meant to be really good. Um, I can't remember the specs. I'll find the specs later. I'll do a little review on them once I get them up. So hopefully I can get them on tonight, get them all running. I've just wired them in quickly to give them a test. Uh, they work there, so was drilling a hole in the bull bar and the battery on the drill ran out. So I got them on charge and 20 minutes. Should be enough charge. Get that last hole done. It's always the final hole, isn't it? Um, so get that last hole done, get those mounted, get the wiring in, poke it through the firewall um, and yeah. Put it, take them out for a ride tonight and uh, get them, get them, what do you call it, leveled and uh, see how they go. So stay tuned for that. Got a mount here, once again BCF, XTM, uh, meant for driving lights, but I've got a mount on here. We brought a Telstra Wi Fi Go repeater. Uh, we were using that when we were at the farm and it worked pretty good there. Um, so now I'm going to mount it to the truck. So we're going to have another aerial, uh, sorry, yeah, another aerial on here. So I've got the UHF. I'll have the Wi-Fi go over this side. I've got my XTM sand flag. So I put that on the other day. Had a quick drive around the street and tested that. That works pretty good. I love how it's got a quick detach. Um, the reviews online, they say that these uh, springs aren't the best, and they bend, they fold, and they don't come back up. Uh, mine didn't seem to do any of that so we'll see how it goes uh, need sand flag for the desert we're not too sure exactly where we're going just yet um, South Australia Northern Territory uh, Victoria New South Wales one of those states we've got no idea uh, and I had my HF antenna over here which I've just taken off and zip tied that underneath I'm only going to use that in an emergency so I'll just carry the antenna in the vehicle and uh, and just put onto the bull bar. I don't want to have too many antennas out here. I'm going to have two on this side. And when I've got the sand flag, they'll give you three over there and put that HF on. I've got four there. I don't want all that. So I'll just have the two on this side as we're driving around and the others only when we're needed. As you can see, the engine bay is a bit dirty. Um, I have cleaned it. <laughs> That's pretty much the best it's going to come up, I think. Uh, and I really don't care at the moment. I just want to get packed and get out of here. Um, intercooler's got a little bit of a leak. We'll see how that goes in the future. Nothing I can do right now. I did get the rat out. There was a rat living in here uh, and he had a nest up on top of the intercooler. He was living in there for a while at the farm. Uh, hopefully he got munched up in there or will we burn him or something like that. I don't know, but hopefully he's not inside anymore. So yeah, guys, that's the update on the truck at the moment. I uh, want to get some more videos out for you, so stay tuned for those. Uh, as I said before, if you hadn't subscribed, hit the button down below. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with the future videos. We'll have some more coming out pretty soon. Thank you.